They're, they're fine on their side, whatever they've got. They're not, they're not going to pick up the music off the thing. Ladies and gentlemen, before we start, we have one of our boxing dignitaries ringside from the amateur ring. He is the former national junior Olympic champion, the former national silver gloves champion, the former national two-time PAL champion, formerly ranked number one in the country, number four in the world, Sammy Swabe Vega. And just a short note, ladies and gentlemen, I told you what USA produces. He is the executive director of Mega Education Scholastic Incentive Systems, coordinating 60 schools in Connecticut with our school in Puerto Rico. He is the law office manager of three offices in Connecticut, coordinating with Puerto Rico. He is on the board on Catholic Charities he is on the NRZ, and the list continues. This is what USA Boxing does. Sammy Vega. Sammy Vega, that's not, I don't care about that. We just need to know the fighters. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, boxing fans from around New England. We welcome you to the Mandel Jewish Community Center right here in the rolling Hebrew Hills of West Hartford, where tonight, USA Boxing, in association with Atlantic Restoration, the Connecticut Boxing Hall of Fame, the Western New England Golden Gloves, and Dean Faze, Central City Boxing and Barbell in Springfield and Dressler Law proudly present the third annual Willie Pep Invitational. Elite amateur boxing at its very best. These bouts are sanctioned by USA Boxing. President Luis Rivera, Vice President Angel Morales, and Chief of Officials, Lou Pontecoloni. These bouts are conducted under the auspices of the State of Connecticut, Department of Emergency Services and Public Protection, State Regulator, Detective Mark Langley's. Your officials assigned at ringside for tonight's event. At the bell, keeping time and counting knockdowns, the lovely Roma Smith. Ring physicians, without whose participation this event would not have occurred. Dr. Tamiko MacArthur Jackson and Dr. Mike Gerstenfell. Your judges assigned at ringside for tonight. Melissa Kelly, Danny Latazio, Sandra Montalvo, Lou Pantacoloni, Wayne DeRosier, Kevin Smith, Luis De Leon, Jesse Giddings, Kevin Hope, Greg Deschison, Heather Concepcion, and Jason Concepcion have already been introduced as the founders of this tremendous event. My name is Attorney Jeffrey Dressler, and I will be the man in charge of the microphone for tonight's event. And now, ladies and gentlemen, The officials are ready. The boxers are in the ring. Are you ready? Are you ready? Then, let's get ready, Hartford! Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the ladies. Our first scheduled bout of the evening. Three two-minute rounds in the novice female 122 pound division. Your referee, the third lady in the ring when the bell sounds, Melissa Kelly. And now, introducing the principals. First, she is boxing out of the red corner. She is wearing 
the black trunks with white trunk. From Central City Boxing, Springfield, Massachusetts, here is Jada Lee Melendez. Melendez. And her opponent across the ring. She is boxing out of the blue corner. She is wearing the black trunks. From Revolution Fitness, Stamford, Connecticut, please welcome Victoria Dalvila. Dalvila. Three two minute rounds in the novice female 122 pound division. Your referee, Melissa Kelly. Our first bout is underway. Jada Lee Melendez out of the red corner for Central City Boxing. She's a Springfield native. Victoria Dalvia from Revolution Fitness in Stamford. She is boxing out of the blue corner. This is the third annual Willie Pep Invitational. We are here at the Mandel JCC in West Hartford, Connecticut. I am Phil Jubileo, joined tonight by James Yavin along with Jason Concepcion as we are in the first of three two-minute rounds in this novice 122-pound fight. First of 11 bouts that we will have here as part of the third annual Willie Pep Invitational. Melendez with the red gloves trying to duck under a right hand from Dalvia. Oh, good little right-left combination by Dalvia. Dalvia keeping to the outside. Boxer out of Stamford, Connecticut, Revolution Fitness. Dalvia is throwing a lot of jabs right now. Melendez trying to pick her spot. Missing with the left and then a little right hook there by Melendez. 10 seconds remaining in this first round. Three two-minute rounds. Melendez with a nice uppercut. And this first round comes to a close. That's Jada Lee Melendez, Central City Boxing. She is out of Springfield. And Victoria Dalvia from Revolution Fitness out of Stamford, Connecticut. James, your thoughts on this first round? Well, it was a good overall fight between uh, Melendez and Dalvia. There was definitely a lot of jabs. Kind Ladies of and gentlemen, this opponents. battle is brought to you by Atlantic you Restoration. Uh, both fighters still trying to and feel mark your their cal way. Calendars, ladies and gentlemen, this, uh, the Connecticut Boxing first Hall round. of Fame induction dinner, As October 13th. In the tonight, Uncas Ballroom, our Mohegan next Sun. Coming up will Tickets available at the 106 CT pound Boxing H O L Connecticut Diego Boxing Bengo Hall of Fame. Diego Bengo Chea out of Badu's Boxing and. Shamar Canal out of the Hit His Boxing Club out of Albany. And the, the thing that's really great about this card, James, uh, very well represented. Seconds not just out. Connecticut boxers, Seconds but out. really boxers throughout yeah, the entire Northeast region. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Such a great opportunity to show off the skills two. here. Second round underway. Oh, they're coming out fighting right now between these two. Definitely a lot of jazz between Dalvia right now. But a lot of blocking from Melendez right now. Oh. Nice movement there by Melendez to duck and then come in with the right hand. Oh. Melendez throwing a little bit to the right and throwing a little left jabs. Nice left hand there by Melendez. She comes in with another left. Just really good balance between these two fighters right now. Well, this card 
features. This is the, uh, actually, I believe this is the only women's match on the card. There originally were going to be a couple of more. One was scratched. There were a couple of scratch bouts, which often happens with amateur boxing. Fighters don't make weight. Something with the medicals preventing them from being able to square off in the ring. Meanwhile, Dalvia has worked along the ropes this entire time. Good connection there. Again, Melendez trying to come low. Left hand there along the chin of Melendez. Dalvia was coming in with lefts and right. She was keeping herself open. Melendez wasn't able to capitalize. Ooh, nice left hand there by Melendez. Yeah, Melendez showing that she wants it right now. Dalvia came back, though, with a combination. Stiff right hand by Dalvia. Oh, and a big left hand there by Melendez. These two combatants going at it pretty hard. Good left hair That's by Dalvia the toward the end two. of the round. A very spirited second round between Melendez and Dalvia. Flash. So there was a lot Use of activity of videos or in that second round between Melendez and Dalvia. So can James, the first round, the, the battle, fighters, uh, the fighters kind of feeling injury. their way we asked through the first no two minutes. They kind of let it out in the second. Any photographic. Yeah, Dalvia definitely looked like she had a more she camera kind of or video. Thank you. Melendez definitely going out. Definitely a lot more intense round. Our title sponsor, Atlantic Restoration. Our gold sponsor tonight this for the Willie Pack Invitational, Golden the Connecticut Boxing Central City Hall of Boxing Fame, and also the IBF and the WBC presenting sponsors for tonight's fight card. Seconds out. In addition to Seconds James out. and Jason, we Third also and have final Destiny round. Torres. Let's She'll be interviewing Lindes the fighters, Victoria the winning Dandia. fighters, after each bout. We'll have that for you on the broadcast. Final round has started between Melendez in the red, Dalvia out of the blue corner. Second round ended with a lot of action from both fighters. Absolutely. It's definitely gonna be a close competition in this last round. A combination right now, Dalvia coming in with some quick hands, came in with a right. Both fighters toe to toe near the center of the ring. Definitely good blocking between these two fighters right now, preventing getting jabbed to the head right now. Bit of a lull. Good right hand by Melendez. Dalvia, after Melendez was backing off, came in with an uppercut. Melendez trying to throw a couple jabs from the right side. Coming down near the end of this round. I think this is going to be a pretty close call. There's a left hand by Melendez. Definitely going to be a tight finish between these two boxers. They both have done a fantastic job in this round so far. Melendez, Melendez has had a couple of big hits in this round. Some big left hands. Dalvia out of Stanford, Connecticut. Not afraid to back off, and she pushed Melendez back with a couple of right hands. And Dalvia scoring points with that jab. Oh, and down goes Dalvia. She was pushed down. That is not a clean knockdown on the part of Jada Lee Melendez. Dalvia fell on her backside, but pops up quickly. No eight count. Final 10 seconds of this last round. Both fighters got to let it out here to score some points. This will be close to call. Close one to call. It's the final bell. Let's hear it for Jenny Melendez and Victoria Davila. Both of their skills were on point. 122 round, novice female to get the night started. We got some of the 106 pounders coming up. This is a card, doesn't feature any heavyweights. You've got some lighter boxers, a lot of punching speed when you get the lighter boxers, a lot of, you, know, you get the big hitters, those middleweights, they'll throw hands, they'll move around the ring, and we saw that from Melendez. 
and Dalvia. I do think it'll be a pretty close decision. And we'll send it to the ring in just a moment. And we will get attorney Jeffrey Dressler, the ring announcer, with the decision. Gentlemen, after three rounds of action, I have the judges scoring, and here it is. Your winner, in the blue corner, from Revolution Fitness, Victoria Davila. Davila. And let's hear it, ladies and gentlemen, for Jedali Melendez from Central Seaboxing. Oh, the blue corner, taking the first round, our first fight, Victoria Davila. And a revolution fitness in Ladies and gentlemen, Stanford, we will have a 50-50 raffle. Now Show your support. Help USA Boxing. Torres, she'll speak Buy as many as you can. Fire. So I'm here with Victoria Davila, who won the first fight of the night. How do you feel? Uh, good. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me, being a woman in the field of boxing, how do you feel? How does this win feel for you? It's awesome. I mean, I have older brothers, so I do, I've always uh, wrestled around with them, so it's like second nature to me. <laughs> what would you say is like your favorite experience during the boxing? Uh, probably the last round, because that's when everything, you know, everything you got has to kick in. Even if you're extremely tired, it's that's where your um, true love for the sport really shows. <laughs> well, thank you so much.